to our lesson on addition and subtraction with vectors. So a vector has two things. It describes a direction and it describes a magnitude. The diagram is made up of equal parallelograms. So we can see that A to B has the same vector as E to F, which is the same as I to J and the same as J to K. But as we change the direction to the opposite direction and we go downwards, that becomes minus B. It's the same magnitude but the opposite direction. Similarly, A to E is A, so B to F is the same, but G to C will be minus A. We can use this to describe the vectors A, B and C. Okay, the vector A to B, which is the path from A to B, and this is given as B. The vector A to J. There are lots of paths that we can take and they will all have the same vector. But in this case, I'm choosing the addition of A to B plus B to J. And we know A to B is given as B. B to F is given as A, which is the same as F to J. So we have B plus 2A. We could also have written 2A plus B. And the next one, we have F to L. So I'm going to go from F to H and then from H to L. And from F to G, we know it's B as is G to H. And H to L is given as A. So the addition is the sum of F to H plus H to L, which is 2B plus A. Or again, a plus 2b. Okay, let's move on. Do you want to try and write the vector of g to n, h to a and o to b by pausing the video and you can resume that when you're ready. Okay, from g to n we're going to go from g to o and then from o to n we know g to k is a and k to o is also a and O to N is the same magnitude, but the opposite direction, then this will be minus B. So G to N is G to O plus O to N, which is 2A minus B. And from H to A, we can go from H to D, and then from D to A. H to D is the same magnitude but the opposite direction as A to E, so that's minus A. This will be minus B, minus B, and another minus B. So we have H to D plus D to A, which is minus A minus 3B. And finally, the vector O to B, we're going to go from O to C, and then from C to B. O to K is going to be minus A, K to G, another minus A, and G to C, again, minus A, and C to B is minus B. So we have O to C plus C to B, which is equal to minus 3a minus b. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.